we were going to be crossing the border from Iraq into Syria on foot through the mountains at night. And the one thing that they made clear is you will come in contact with the Islamic State and you will fight. Yes! For some, joining the military to fight the war on terror is more of a calling than a career decision. Here are these people who think this world is just rainbows and gummy bears. Such was the case for Seabright, New Jersey resident Anthony Delgado. Looks good, buddy. You know, I always had this respect for our military and um, our soldiers and everything, and that's, that's pretty much what I always wanted to do my whole life. He served two years of active duty in the Air Force and another two years in the National Guard, but was never deployed. When I served, I didn't feel like I did anything that was just, you know, profound or that stuck out or, or made any difference whatsoever. Then one day, a Facebook page called U.S. Veterans Fighting ISIS came across his news feed. It was like a fantasy. It was like a dream. It was an opportunity to bypass the U.S. government and join the Kurdish militia and experience combat for the first time while fighting ISIS. If I could have just teleported right there and then I would have. I wouldn't have cared about my job anymore, my house, rent, nothing. And two months after they rode him back, Anthony found himself on the ground, inexperienced, and approaching the front lines of Syria. I was really into it because now I was in a war zone and I was armed and we were ready and we were, get, we were coached up and, um, and we were going to Kalishmo to start heading towards the front. But soon after, the reality of war, close up and personal, sets in. Uh, we're in a defensive position, we're getting ready to move and I hear one of the guys screaming, vehicles coming up, vehicles coming up. So we just start lighting it up and the thing just explodes, boom. Car bomb, came pretty close, there it is right there. Everything that I ever thought of for serving my country and, 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 and fighting, all of a sudden just came to reality in that moment. But perhaps the time he feared for his life most was being pinned down by sniper fire in a staircase. Um, there was this huge open window, and whatever we would try to move and get back down to the ground level, sniper fire would just come right through. Here we go again. Shit. And we were trapped in this staircase for two days. Uh, finally, uh, the SDF and YPG QRF quick, quick Reaction Force ended up coming in and pulling us out of there. But when I was in that staircase pinned down by that sniper fire, I was uh, afraid. This is as real as it gets, Operation Tapka. The thing of it is, is there's nothing like coming in contact and getting into a firefight. I was excited, I was afraid, but I just wanted to make sure that I did my job. Another part of the job, and the job of any soldier, is hiding your emotions. I used to just walk off a little bit and pretend I was looking for nothing and just cry for a minute sometimes, because seeing the atrocities that these people we're, we're, we're doing to these innocent civilians and they're human beings. If we saw that here in America right now, we would see them suffering and we would want to just, what can we do, hey, help, well, you call somebody, do something for them. It just doesn't change because you're in Syria and they're Syrian, you know, they're, they're, still, they're, they're still people, you know? Now just a few months removed, Anthony's adjustment to everyday life hasn't been easy. You know, I'll be honest with you, that's very difficult for me. That, that is the one difficult part for me, you know, that feeling that you're not serving this purpose anymore and you're not doing anything that's great anymore settles in, so. So this is the kitchen of Dive, where I work. Um, we pump out great food here. Last night was Tijuana Tuesday. <laughs> A very busy night here. Um, My life is a uh, complete, you know, 180 from what it was, you know, uh, when I was over there. And there's nothing in my life that will ever top that. Going from being this soldier over there and, and fighting terrorists, you know, to just 
being here at work and, 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 you know, hey, I guess maybe I can get some overtime this week to occupy myself, you know. <laughs> In Seabright, New Jersey, Brian Johnston for the Asbury Park Press and APP.com.